So it's been a while, but I am finally back with a new author facts video. And today I am here to tell you guys 16 facts about that wonderful children's author, Frances Hodgson Burnett. Hello everyone, it is Samantha and I hope you guys are having a great day. Today I am here with a new author facts video. It's been far too long since I've done one of these. I think the last one I did was around Christmas time, so that's a crime. I should have done one sooner. And I've decided to choose that famous classics children's author, Frances Hodgson Burnett, also known as the author of The Secret Garden. So I have 15 facts that I have compiled about her, which I found to be pretty interesting. So. Let us start. Fact number one, Francis was born Francis Eliza Hodgson on November 24th, 1849. Fact number two, she was born in England, but she emigrated with her family to the United States of America in 1865. Fact number three, shortly after the family immigrated, Francis started submitting her own stories to women's magazines, and in 1868, at the age of 19, her first story was published. Fact number four, by the age of 20, Francis's parents had both become deceased, and she was left in charge of caring for her family. However, in order to sustain an amount of income, she continued to submit her stories for publication. In fact number five, in 1873, Frances married a Dr. Swan Burnett, and together they ended up moving to Paris, where she not only gave birth to two sons, but she also continued to support the family income by writing and publishing her stories. Fact number six, in 1876, she published her very first novel. This was called The Lass of Lowry, and it featured a young, independent woman who was growing up in an English mining town. It was this novel that ended up accelerating her popularity in both the U.S. and the U.K. Fact number seven, in 1877, the Burnett family ended up moving to Washington, D.C. Frances continued to write, but the, soon the strain of having all of these social engagements, raising her family and writing, and her marital strain ended up taking a toll on her. And she often was ill and depressed as a result. Fact number eight, Burnett and her husband's relationship ended up becoming strained shortly after moving to Washington, D.C. They soon became estranged, and by 1898, the couple was in fact divorced. Fact number nine, Burnett would often cite that the one perfect thing in her life was the childhood of her two sons, and she would often try to reflect this in her writing. This, of course, was seen in none more than her most popular and famous novel, Little Lord Fauntleroy. Fact number 10, Little Lord Fauntleroy ended up becoming a massive success in the U.K. and the U.S. and all over Europe, ended up being made into stage productions in both the UK and Paris. It also came out with its own line of products, including toys, chocolates, clothing that represented his costume, and most notably ended up being made into a 1921 silent film starring Mary Pickford. Fact number 11, the success of Little Lord Fauntleroy ended up providing Burnett and her two sons with a very lavish lifestyle. She was able to provide them to travel overseas and see Europe and provide them with the education that she felt that they deserved. Fact number 12, despite her success of many of her novels, Burnett was often criticized by critics for being too fluffy, for catering towards masses instead of writing serious literature, and for being very superficial. But despite this, she still persevered and wrote stories that she felt everyone could enjoy. Fact number 13, after the success of Little Lord Fauntleroy, Burnett also got a huge success from two more novels that she ended up publishing, and that of course was The Little Princess and of course The Secret Garden. Fact number 14, Dickon, the sickly ill cousin from The Secret Garden, is in fact based upon one of her sons who ended up dying at the age of 15 from consumption, also known as tuberculosis. <laughs> Fact number 15, Burnett ended up passing away at the age of 74 on October 29th, 1924. Fact number 16, Frances ended up publishing over 55 titles, most of which was children's literature, but she did also have some adult works as well. And of course, her most famous works would be Little Lord Fauntleroy, The Little Princess, and one of my favorites, The Secret Garden. So as you can see, Frances Hodgson Burnett lived quite a sad life, but she also published some of our most famous children's works that I know my childhood would not have been the same without. Secret Garden and The Little Princess Bolt are two of my favorite stories and will always be so. All right, guys, that is it for my 16 facts on Frances Hodgson Burnett. I hope you guys enjoyed it you'll have to let me know if you have any questions or anything else you want to throw down in the comments feel free to do so as well as any other authors you'd like to see me feature in future fact author facts videos thank you guys so much for watching and until next time happy reading bye